today we are going to um, try to help you guys out there who are dealing with type 2 diabetes. Yes. And we know one of the biggest things you're probably struggling with is the medications, right? There are so many out there. Absolutely. And it can get really confusing, especially if you're taking more than one medication. Right. It's like, how do they work together? Yes. So today, we're going to break down how these medications work and why it's so important to have a treatment plan that is personalized for you. Yeah. And the cool thing, there are certain medications out there that not only help you manage your blood sugar, but they've also got some pretty awesome benefits for your heart and your kidneys. Yeah. We're going to talk about all that today. And we encourage you to hit that subscribe button for Pharmacist Online hmm. to stay up to date with the latest health insights. All right. So... You know, when we think about type 2 diabetes, I mean, lifestyle changes are super important. Absolutely. The foundation of treatment. Absolutely. But a lot of times medications are a key part of this. Yeah. So why don't you kind of walk us through, like, when somebody is first diagnosed, where do you usually start in terms of medications? Well, typically we start with metformin. It's kind of our go-to first-line treatment. And what metformin does is it helps your body use insulin more efficiently. Okay. Which basically helps lower your blood sugar. That makes sense. Yeah. But... I'm guessing, you know, metformin alone is not always enough. Mm. What are some of those times and what do doctors kind of look at when they're deciding, okay, we need to add something else to this? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Sometimes metformin isn't enough and we need to consider adding another medication to the mix. Um, there's a few factors that doctors take into account. So we look at, you know, your overall health. Do you have any other health conditions like heart disease or kidney disease? Um, we also look at your blood sugar levels, of course. You know, how well is metformin controlling those? Right. And how about your personal goals and preferences? Okay. It's really about tailoring that treatment to each individual. So really personalizing it. Exactly. And when we talk about adding a second medication, there are two main classes that we often consider. First, we've got the SGLT2 inhibitors. Okay, I've heard of those, but I'm honestly, I'm a little, um, I don't really understand exactly how those work. So think of them as like little sugar filters for your kidneys. Okay. They basically help your body get rid of excess sugar through your urine. Wow. And here's what's even more fascinating about these medications. Research shows that they can protect your heart and your kidneys, even beyond just their blood sugar lowering effects. Really? Yeah. So, for example, let's say you have someone with early kidney disease. An SGLT2 inhibitor can actually slow down the progression of that disease. So this is like these medications can actually protect my heart and kidneys. That's that's amazing. Yeah, they're pretty remarkable. Um, studies have shown that they can uh, reduce strain on the heart improve blood flow to the kidneys, we're still learning about all the ways that they work. Yeah. Um, but, you know, those added benefits really make them a valuable tool in managing type 2 diabetes. That is incredible. You mentioned there's another class of medications that doctors often consider. What was that again? Yeah. So the other class is called GLP-1 receptor agonists. Okay. And these are truly fascinating medications. They work in a few different ways. First of all, they help your pancreas release more insulin when your blood sugar is high. Okay. They slow down how quickly your stomach empties. So that helps you feel fuller for longer. Okay. And that can lead to weight loss. And then finally, they can actually reduce appetite signals in the brain. Wow. I bet that weight loss benefit, that's probably a big deal for a lot of people. Yeah, it can be a game changer, honestly, because managing weight is such a key part of managing type 2 diabetes. Right. And these medications can really help with that. So we've got SGLT2 inhibitors. We've got GLP-1 receptor agonists. Are those the only options when, you know, metformin isn't quite cutting it? So there are a couple of other medications that we sometimes use in combination therapy. Um there are DPP-4 inhibitors, which can also help lower blood sugar. Okay. And then we have TZDs, which work by improving insulin sensitivity. Okay. But one thing to keep in mind with TZDs is they can sometimes cause weight gain. Oh, okay. So we try to avoid that, especially if weight management is already a concern. Yeah, that makes sense. So we've been talking about, you know, adding these medications to metformin. Mm -hmm. What about um, those situations where those just aren't enough or maybe somebody can't take metformin? Yeah, sometimes we need to explore some other options. So insulin therapy might be necessary, especially when blood sugar levels are staying high despite those other medications. Okay. We also have sulfonylureas, which work by stimulating a pancreas to release more insulin. Got it. But, you know, with sulfonylureas, it's really important to be aware that they can sometimes cause low blood sugar, so we monitor that closely. 
Wow, there are so many different options to consider. And, you know, this is why I think it's so important to have this kind of personalized treatment plan, right? Absolutely. It's like having a detective working with you to kind of piece together the clues and figure out, you know, what is going to work best for you and your body and your lifestyle. Yes. Before we wrap up, I want to leave you guys with something to think about. So considering all these different medications we talked about today and their benefits, what aspect of your current treatment plan are you most curious to discuss with your doctor? That's something to kind of think about and take away with you today. 